Shortly at approximately 12 noon this afternoon, a student at Western Collegiate Institute was shot in the parking lot. Uh, this suspect, uh, this sorry, this victim was shot in the chest area or the upper chest area. Um, after he was shot, he ran back into the school. The victim ran back into the school where he was tended to by uh, teachers and faculty at the school. Um, at that time, uh, emergency services was contacted. Uh, police and ambulance arrived on scene and tended to the victim. The victim was subsequently transported to a local trauma center where he is currently in critical care. Um, the suspect information at this time um, is unknown males uh, drove by and um, obviously shot this gentleman. Um, they made good their escape um, in unknown direction. Uh, I do not have a description of the suspects or the suspect vehicle. What I can tell you is that our Guns and Gangs Unit and um, 12 Division Major Crime and 12 Division uh, Criminal Investigations Unit is on scene and we are canvassing for witness and vid video information. Um, this is a residential area. If there's anyone, any homeowners in the area have any dash cam or residential uh, uh, camera footage, that would be greatly appreciated if they could fast uh, forward that off to uh, uh, 12 Division at 416-808-1200 uh, uh, and or Crime Stoppers. I have um, the Toronto District School Board, uh, Ryan, here with me as well, and he will answer any questions in regards to the student at this time. Good afternoon. Obviously, we are uh, thinking of the student who is injured today. I can confirm that it was a 15-year-old grade 10 male student here at Weston Collegiate. Uh, obviously, we're thinking of uh, him, his family, loved ones, uh, the, the staff and, and students here at the school right now. I can tell you that the, the lockdown is, has slowly been lifted. Students are being relocated to two uh, area elementary schools uh, for the remainder of the day. Obviously, not much more of that day to happen, but they are relocated elsewhere as police continue their investigation. For our part, we are making sure that uh, supports are now coming in uh, to speak with students if they need support through our professional support services teams and obviously cooperating with police in any way we can as they continue their investigation.